Hello and welcome to 7th session of Aviva Everything 3D course. In this session, we are going to model nozzles of equipment. A nozzle is an interface point between the equipment as connecting pipe work. I prefer to model nozzles in a separate sub-equipment. One, stay on a right level in hierarchy. You can stay on equipment or other sub-equipment. Two, create sub-equipment nozzle with position ENU equals 000. Three, create nozzle. You can see the symbol of nozzle beside the level in the hierarchy. A, specify the name based on drawing. Actually, Equipment drawing contains nozzle table in which nozzle descriptions are specified. First, I want to create nozzle M1. B. Specify a specification based on nozzle table. The specification of flange of this equipment is ANSI or ASME. It means that the rating, size and dimension of them are referred to ANSI or ASME B16.5 C. Specify the generic type based on nozzle table. N1 is 150 pound. D. Specify the bore based on nozzle table. NPS equals 8 or 200 millimeters. E. The height of nozzle in E3D determines the distance between face and end of the flange. You can find this parameter as a projection in nozzle table that determines the distance between face of nozzle and equipment tangent line. Please enter the height of N1, same as projection in nozzle table, and press enter. As mentioned in previous sessions, after filling any data in E3D, you should press enter to ensure that your data is valid. F. Now, press enter to specify the position of nozzle. This position specifies offset to sub-equipment. As you remember, we created nozzle sub-equipment with zero offset to equipment origin. So, if we maintain this position as ENU equals 000, nozzle will be created at equipment origin. G. By pressing F11, you can see that the nozzle is created in east-west direction. But the direction of nozzle M1 is up based on drawing. So by using rotate and specifying the angle and direction, you can rotate it. Please specify angle and direction as 90 and about Y and press apply rotation. H. Now we should move it to its location based on the drawing. We can use align width and peak P point as a destination of nozzle origin that located at the center of flange face. This command is equivalent to move offset in home tab. Instead of using rotate, you can change the direction of nozzle here. The best point to move this nozzle is intersection point of equipment tangent lines because we have distance of flange origin relative to this point. So please press peak P point Hold down left click and hover over the primitive to select P point. By releasing the button, the flange origin will be moved to the selected P point. I. Now, by using command window, we can move it. Please type by U1460 and by E550 and press enter to move it. By pressing next, you will be prompted to create next nozzle. 1. Specify the specification of N2 based on nozzle table and press create. 2. Specify the position as 000. 3. By using align width, specify the direction and then select P point as an intersection point of tangent lines. 4. Using command window, move it to the right position.
follow the same instruction for creating N3. All nozzles of this equipment are created. Please note that locating them in the right position is so important because they will be connected to piping system and any deviation from drawing will cause reworks in a field that will impose considerable cost to the project. If your equipment has an insulation it's highly recommended to model it to prevent any clash during erection or operation in the field. You can create separate sub-equipment for that using primitives for modeling insulation. You can see another examples of equipment modeling in APS project. It helps you to have ideas for using primitives to create any equipment. 1. A stay on equipment you want to add it to the draw list. 2. Right click, 3D view and add. Alternatively, you can drag and drop it to draw list. In this way, equipment will be added to other elements but it may not in your current view. In this case, you can select center view by right click. Please be noted that by holding shift key and drag and drop, you can remove other elements and only add current element extended to draw list. You know that remove doesn't delete element. It only removes items from draw list. To shape your equipment, in some cases, you need to hollow solid primitives. In these cases, negative primitives should be used. Negative primitive hollows solid primitive. So, first we should create solid primitive and then cut it by negative primitive. Therefore, negative primitives are owned by solid primitives and will only negative their owners. So, the position of the negative primitive's origin with respect to its owning solid primitive's origin. By default, hold run is activated in representation tab in graphic setting of view tab. So, you can see final shape that negative is cut from solid primitive. You can see the solid by disabling hold drawn. In this case, negative will be shown in dashed line. 
In the next episode, we will talk about plot plan and then locate our equipment in sight based on the location specified in there. Thanks for being with us.